Hi guys, welcome back to your video for vlogger channel. If you want to know how to create a text wrap effect you saw in the intro, then you definitely don't want to miss this video. Let's get started. Launch video for vlogger. Put a new project. Find this button, click on it to change the background color. After applying the changes, find a text icon in the toolbar. Click on it. Go to the inspector to add a text. Enter a short sentence. Then choose the font style you want. Make the text smaller. Next. Copy this short sentence and paste it multiple times. Adjust the text position on the screen. Scroll down and uncheck the text shadow. Find the camera icon above the preview window. Click on it to generate a screenshot of the current text. Return to the main interface. Delete the text content. Click the camera icon again to generate a screenshot of a solid color image. Now, import a text image and fold it together. First, find this button, click on it to add several over tracks. Drag a video to the video track, adjust the duration. And use a split tool to cut it into two parts. Next, drag the second half to over track 1. Find a color icon in the toolbar, click on it to adjust the color. First, choose a modal filter on the left, then adjust exposure, contrast, highlights, and extra on the right. Click apply to apply the changes. Now, find the motion icon in the toolbar. Click on it to edit animation. Click add a keyframe on the first frame. Resize the box to fill the entire screen. Then add a second keyframe. Adjust the box size and position to make the screen smaller. Add a speed curve to it. On the last frame, click Add keyframe again to hold the position. Click Apply to enter to the main interface. Go to the inspector and add a fade out effect. Then scroll down to the compositing section and apply the color dodge blend mode. Once finished, it, drag the solid color image into the video track. Drag the texture image to the overlay track. Adjust the durations to match. Then select the texture image. In the preview window, adjust the size to match your previous video. Go to the inspector and add a fading effect. Finally, drag another video to an empty track. Adjust the timing. Then add a size to match your previous video. Click the color icon again to choose a modal filter for black and white tone. Go back to your main interface. In the inspector, add a fading effect. Apply the color dodge blend mode. First, drag the text image to a timeline. Do the basic editing for it. Then click crop icon in the toolbar. Adjust the box size and position to frame just the text. Click apply to enter to the main interface. Next, find a motion icon. Click on it to add an animation. Click add keyframe on the first frame. In frame control, select the custom. Adjust the box size and position to align with just the right side of the text. Then add a second keyframe. Move the box to the left. On the last frame, click Add Keyframe again to hold the position. Click Apply to apply the adjustments. In the inspector, adjust the Y position. 
Now use the shortcut Ctrl C to copy it and paste it onto an empty track. In the inspector, change the rotation to 180. Adjust the Y position. Now the upper and lower text scopes are complete. Next, we copy and paste the text image again onto an empty track. Enter the motion editor panel to adjust the keyframe values and the timings. Click Apply to return to the main interface. Then set the rotation value to 90. Adjust the position. Using the same method, copy and paste it to add a text on the left side of the screen. Once all the scenes are added, don't forget to add some music to enrich your video effects. Alright, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. And if you want to know more about the other tricks, what has been going on with the video pro vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to your subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we will see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.